Hi, Marty McKay from McKay Realty here again. In this highly, highly competitive market, I want to rattle off several points that you can use to enhance the offer that you submit to the seller for the home that you're buying. Remember, there are likely going to be more than one offer on that home. So these are things that you can do without increasing the purchase price that you offer to the seller. Number one, closing costs. Talk to your agent and your loan officer about having the lender pay your closing costs. Number two, earnest money. You can increase your earnest money strategically without increasing your risk. This will make the sellers feel more comfortable and, and confident that you're able to close and on time. Next, deadlines. Talk to your agent about the team that they have set up for you with home inspections, lenders, and so forth to make sure that you can tighten your deadlines without compromising your ability to close on time. Have your agent help you submit a buyer letter to the seller to humanize the transaction and give you an edge over the other offers. Better yet, if your agent is comfortable with it, you can submit a short video explaining who you are as an individual or as a family, introducing you, what you like about the property being sold, and what your plans are. Agent ethos. This means having your agent talk to the listing agent about why they feel they are competent enough to help you bring this transaction through to closing. If your agent is newer, have them talk about the team that they are on and how together they have done dozens or hundreds of transactions and are confident that they can bring your transaction to closing. Have the agent explain to the seller that the buyer will pay the seller's closing costs. This is something that will increase the buyer's costs, but it does not uh, increase the purchase price. Sellers are wary of purchase prices going too high because an appraisal may not support that price. In this case, again, while it does increase the buyer's costs, it gives you an advantage over other buyers who are only pushing on the price. Also, having your lender give you a good old fashioned pre-approval letter rather than just a pre-qualification can put you ahead of competitors. This does two things. It makes your letter a lot more credible but it also uh, enables you to meet those tighter deadlines because all of the credit and income have been analyzed ahead of time and you're able to close on that loan much faster. An escalation clause is a good, is a good way to bring the, the negotiating price up automatically above the next most competitive offer. You can say, I will submit an offer for X dollar amount, but if there's a competing offer, automatically put us 1200 or 1700 above the next most competitive offer. Contingency. Finally, if you have a house to sell of your own before you can buy the next one, talk to your agent about the best way to strategize how to work this contingency in. Should you make an offer before you list your home, after you list, before you get it under contract, and so forth. All of these points can be combined, or many of them can be combined, to strengthen your offer without increasing the purchase price. If you want more details on any of these or some of the ones that we didn't cover, please give me a call at 801-948-0796. Thanks.